Hello students, today we will see cross aldol condensation reaction. So cross aldol condensation reaction is also the reaction due to alpha hydrogen atom present in aldehydes or ketones. So in the case of aldol condensation, simple aldol condensation, we have taken similar aldehydes. So similar aldehydes or ketones are taken for aldol condensation. But in the case of cross aldol condensation, for cross aldol condensation reaction, two different aldehydes or two different ketones are taken. So in the case of two different aldehydes or two different ketones, we can expect cross aldol condensation reaction. So in the case of aldol condensation, we have taken similar aldehydes or ketones. In the case of cross aldol condensation, we need to take two different aldehydes or ketones or two different aldehydes or ketones in presence of a base show this type of reaction that is cross aldol condensation reaction. So let us see an example. So if we are taking a mixture of a mixture of ethanol and propanol ethanol and propanol. So these are two different aldehydes and these are having alpha hydrogen atoms also. So ethanol and propanol are aldehydes but they are two different aldehydes with alpha hydrogen atoms. So in this case we can expect four products. So if you are taking a mixture of ethanol and propanol two different aldehydes with alpha hydrogen atoms, we can expect four products in, uh, in the case of cross aldol condensation reaction. So we will see how does this reaction take place. So first of all, we can write ethanol. So ethanol at first, ethanol is having an alpha hydrogen atom. So we will write ethanol and ethanol at first. So ethanol plus ethanol. So in this case, we have seen this type of reaction in the case of simple aldol condensation. So here, an aldol will be formed. So this alpha hydrogen move towards this oxygen and the rest of the part will be attached to this carbon and the product will be this is an aldol but it is a cross aldol product since we have taken a mixture of meth ethanol and propanol. So this is the uh, cross aldol product and it loses one molecule of water on heating produces the condensation product as CH3 C H double bond CH CH so this hydrogen and this OH so one molecule of water is eliminated from this cross aldol product and the condensation product will be this and this is but to enol so this will be the first product out of four products so the first product will be formed from two ethanol molecules. So next we have we have to take ethanol and propanol. So ethanol and propanol. What happens when ethanol and propanol are taken? So ethanol plus propanol. So propanol is also having an alpha hydrogen. So we will draw propanol like this so that it will be easy for us to move this hydrogen towards here. And this is alpha position and this is alpha hydrogen. 
and this will be a beta position. So this is CH3, CH2, CHO will be propanol and this is the alpha position and this is alpha hydrogen and this hydrogen will move towards here and the product will be CH3, COH, H, CH2, CH3, CHO. So this will be the cross aldol product and on heating it eliminates one molecule of water from here. So H from here and OH from here and the final product will be CH3 CH double bond CH CH3 CHO. So this will be the final product. This is the condensation product. And the name of this compound is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is 2 methyl but 2 en al but 2 enal. So this will be the final product. So this is the condensation of uh, I mean this is a cross aldol product. So from this cross aldol product one molecule of water is eliminated and the final product will be 2 methyl but 2 enal. So this will be the final product. So when ethanol and propanol these are the um, compounds taken. So one is ethanol and the other one is propanol. So this alpha hydrogen from propanol move towards here and the second product out of four products will be this. So this will be the second product that is 2 methyl but 2 enol. Now let us see how to write the third product that is from propanol and propanol. So both are having alpha hydrogen atoms. So we need to take propanol and propanol. CH3, CH2, CHO plus CH3, CH2, CHO. So the second molecule should be written like this so that it is easy to move this alpha hydrogen towards here. So this is propanol plus propanol. So the product will be the cross aldol product will be CH3, CH2, COH, H, CH, this will be CH, CH. So one hydrogen move towards here and this will be CH, this is CH3 then CH. So this is the cross aldol product and one molecule of water is eliminated from here on heating in order to get the condensation product. So for that OH and H from here will be eliminated and we will get the product as CS3, CH2, CH, it will be a double bond, C, CH3, CHO. So this will be the final product and this condensation product has the name as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 2 methyl pent 2 en 1 al or enal. So it is 2 methyl pent 2 enal. So this is a final product. So this is a cross aldol condensation product in the case of propanol plus propanol. So this will be the third product out of four products. Now let us write propanol plus ethanol.
So this is propanol and ethanol will be CH3 CHO. So this hydrogen will move towards here. So propanol plus ethanol and the cross aldol product will be CH3 CH2 COH H CH2 CHO. So alpha hydrogen move towards here and the rest of the part will be attached to this carbon and this is the cross aldol product. So on heating H2 will be eliminated from here and here. So this will be CH3, CH2, CH double bond, CH, CHO. So the name will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this will be pent 2 EN 1 all or enol. So pent 2 enol will be the cross aldol condensation product and this is the fourth product. So there are four products in the case of mixture of ethanol and propanol. Here we can expect cross aldol condensation reaction. So cross aldol condensation reaction is expected when two different aldehydes or ketones are taken. Here we have taken two different aldehydes. So both are having alpha hydrogen atoms. So we can expect four products in this case. So let us see one example with ketone also. For that we can take it is benzaldehyde and we can take benzaldehyde and acetophenone. So this is acetophenone, this is a ketone, this is an aldehyde. So, so two different carbonyl compounds are here. So this is an aldehyde, this is a ketone. So in this case there is no alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen atom. So no alpha hydrogen atom is there in the case of benzaldehyde. This is benzaldehyde. This is actually acetophenone. So that is a ketone. There we can see an alpha hydrogen. So this is the alpha position. There, there are alpha hydrogen atoms. So in the case of acetophenone it's a ketone so this is acetophenone so in this acetophenone there is alpha hydrogen atoms so even if we have taken two different uh, carbonyl compounds there are there is only one compound having alpha hydrogen atom a cross aldol condensation reaction takes place since both are different but there is only one compound having alpha hydrogen atom there will be one product so we will get one product only so there will be one product since one compound is only one compound is having alpha hydrogen atom so in this case this alpha hydrogen alpha hydrogen move towards this oxygen and the product will be COH, H, CH2, C double bond O, then the phenyl group. So this is the first product and then elimination reaction on heating. So elimination of uh, water. So elimination of water from this molecule and we will get the final product 
for the condensation product. So OH and H from here. So this will be CH then double bond CH C double bond O then the phenyl group. So this will be the final product. So let us name this compound. This is So 1,3,1,3-diphenyl, 1,3-diphenyl, 2,1,3-diphenyl, prop 2-en, then one horn. So one three diphenyl. So three carbon atoms. So it will be prop second position double bond two en. Then first position ketonic group. So it will be one horn. So one three diphenyl prop two en. One horn will be the final product in the case of benzaldehyde and acetophenone. So this is about cross aldol condensation reaction.